Hey, folks. We're at Game Ranks. We're here at E3. It's not Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Yes. Because our internet sucks, and we couldn't figure out how to stream. Nope. So... This is as good as it's going to get. Yes. We Everything are here. broke. Everything broke. Everything broke. We are uh, knee deep in all of it. Uh, the last few days, we had all the conventions and stuff, uh, the, the, the press conferences go down. Uh, so now we want to talk about all that stuff. As usual, I'm Jake Baldino, and I'm joined by Tom Johnson. Andrew Gabbia. Uh, just before we get started, because we are on a different day this week, uh, we might have some new people. What do you What do you do around here? What do you do for Game Ranks? I, I make the videos. Oh, nice. Andrew, what about you? I also make the videos. Okay, good. And so do voiceovers and talk. Good. And talk. Hello, hello. Well, great. Um, we should just get right into it at this point. Uh, I'm going to do the disclaimer. Disclaimer? Window. Right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to be LA. loud. Going to hear honking, uh, sirens, all of that. So possible just, homeless people yeah. just yelling yeah so if you are listening to this like in your car just know that sirens could mean you're not getting pulled over and it could mean that someone died on the street here but it also could mean that you're being pulled over yeah always be so. sure to look twice and save a life so we're gonna go through all three of them the big question always is like oh who won e3 uh we I'd say video games won <laughs> video game- <laughs> of course fuck you andrew <laughs> um we have to just kind of go through it all and see, see how we feel on the on the, the back end. Uh, starting with Sony, what do you guys have from Sony that was like your favorite moment? When uh, they didn't announce Skate 4 and I got really sad. You thought that was going to be Sony though? Uh, well, they PlayStation could've... France tweeted a thing with a man on a skateboard with PlayStation logos on the bottom of it like two hours that before the conference. That was bullshit. What was that? That was yeah. just like a marketing misstep. Yeah, so I was like, they're going to they're gonna do it. Yeah. They're going to put Skate 4 yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't. <sighs> Um, I was really happy to see Resident Evil 2, though. Uh, I'm a, like, diehard, lifelong fan, specifically of Resident Evil 2. Like, that was my favorite Resident Evil game. Uh, It's been your shit since we were kids. Yeah. Can I I say something that's kind of fucked up? I wish... I'm kind of bummed out it wasn't a game about being a rat. I was kind of hoping it was a a rat game. I was like, what is this weird PSVR game? (laughs) And then it wasn't. Uh, there was someone next to me the whole time. Like we, I was at the press conference and I'm sitting there and there's a guy next to me going, "Oh PSVR, oh PSVR," and nope. I was like, "Whoa, uh, no, it doesn't you seem like it." The one person really, really excited oh, about PSVR. No, stuff. no, no. Uh, so I think it looks great. It does seem like they are not doing a one-to-one remake. Things are different. We have gotten to see gameplay. Uh, we're also going to get our hands on it tomorrow, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so far. It seems like they aren't just doing a beat for beat. Like some of the environments seem a little different. Some of the encounters seem different. You have all the enemies. You have the story beats. Uh, but it just seems a little different. So it's not like exactly like how you remember it. Uh, d- during the the post show, uh, one of the developers was saying that they want the people going into it who played it like like crazy like me to not walk in confidently and be like, oh, I know what's gonna be over there. They want you to or want you, want you not. To? They want us not to. Like okay, they want to like cool. shake that's us cool. up but, again a little but, bit. Okay. Are they still gonna be like, I'm a human? I hope Don't so. You. Hold your fire. I'm a human. <laughs> Part of what I like so much about the um, the GameCube remake of Resident Evil, and then later, like when I brought the PS4, the PC was that everything was the same. Yeah, like I knew everything was. But also, it'd be nice to get a cool game. That'd be cool if they find a blend like like the remake because the remake added just enough. Like it added Lisa. That's like the main thing they added, and it was perfect. Like it fit in. One thing that's cool from what I've seen about because it's playable on the show floor. People have played it. It seems to be, um, if Resident Evil Five and Six didn't happen, and they kept yeah. like the combat from Four, yeah, but they kept the spookiness from like the OG yeah. games and Resident Evil Seven, and I like that a you know, lot. You the know, gameplay looks really cool. I was having like weird flashbacks. Do you remember when they? This is I'm dating myself now. Do you guys remember when they first teased Resident Evil Four, like bef- like well before it turned into what yeah. it was? And it was just Leon walking down a really creepy hallway. Mm-hmm. It felt like that. I was like, wow, this is like really coming full circle. Uh, I'm all in, though. Uh, I'm very excited for that. Uh, that was a good surprise. And that wasn't even like a first party surprise because there weren't a lot of first party surprises. Uh, I will say it was really great to see a bunch of Ghosts of Tsushima. Yeah, man. That game looks cool. great. It looks like a video game. Like, it's like, it does a lot of stuff. Guess what, Jake? This is a week of video games. I know. No, but I'm saying, like, it looks like it does stuff that we've seen in a lot of other games. But I think the aesthetic and the time period is, like, just really good and and worth going into that world. Like, to me, I was like, oh, okay. If we don't get Animusha, I'm okay with this. This is cool. Yeah. Uh, How did you feel about the combat? I think it looks cool. Yeah. I'm into that style. Yeah. Yeah. It seems kind of... uh, uh, I don't know, like, because it was like almost like there were two versions of the combat. Once it got to one on one, 
with that boss character it felt very different yeah no and i'm very curious to see like how they do like dueling yeah she's gonna turn to bushido blade man okay i'm okay with that i'm down with it yeah uh visually too that scene stunning yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the the fields with the grass and stuff. It's showing through the straw, like the sun yeah. is coming through the straw on his it's outfit. Insane. Even uh, even Tom, who doesn't like video games, was watching the live stream and was like, he said he goes, oh dude, you can see the light coming through the straw. Yeah. Like that, yo, this, <laughs> that's amazing. This, this is so pretty. <laughs> I like, can't yeah. wait to play that on my stupid LG TV. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. Uh, I I'm I'm into it. Uh, like I said, just from the the time period and the aesthetic. I'm still like curious about the gameplay. I love the yeah, were those were those uh, s- uh, spooky men? I I don't know. Um, are they f- are they just giving us an Animusha? Well, the first trailer is, is John Renault gonna show up in it again. The first trailer oh, was yeah. all um, the the first trailer was supernatural. Like it was like a fireman. Like he was like in flame and stuff. I don't know if that was just a visual thing or could just been a man on fire. Yeah. No, it was like oh, do you remember it was him and he's remember. like I am the ghost of sushi. Oh. I don't know if he said that, but. Uh, I am yeah. the ghost of Sushi. I am the ghost of Sushi. I am the title of the game. <laughs> uh, it's, I, I would be. I, it's, it's probably something supernatural. I didn't. Yeah. So here's how like oblivious I am. I thought it was ghosts of Tsushima, like plural, until we went to. Oh, I kept messing it up too. Yeah, uh, we were at a bar, a hotel bar, and they had like a banner inside of it that showed like the full name, and I was like, oh, it's a singular Tom's ghost. Fucking half drunk realization that he had to me. What? Oh, half drunk. There's more than one. Okay, ghost? Tom's very drunk realization. I'm really glad you didn't come out with me last night because I came home and I fell to up the stairs and I just laid there for a good ten minutes. I'm really glad to get too. Back up. Oh, I'm really no. glad I didn't come too because it took me two hours, but I beat the final boss in Tropical Freeze. Oh, congratulations! Yes. A productive E3 all around. Um, I would say Last of Us Part Two. Yeah. Jesus Christ! How do we brutal, feel about that? Brutal as fuck. Not for the faint of heart. Like it's brutal. Also, video games finally have a good kiss. Like that kiss looked like real. I suppose like, to Commander cool. Shepard, who looks like he's like kissing God. someone, and his mouth yeah. is about three it's inches like, away. Yeah. Fa- or, or heavy he's rain. Like, heavy rain had a real bad kiss. I don't know if this is like weird. The but graphics. I've been, I've been waiting for like a because like video games like they can't do human interaction or eating well. Yeah, no. <laughs> so like they're getting more and more realistic and looking better and better every year. Yeah, and. That hasn't happened yet, and I'm glad so, that it has. And of course, it's fucking Naughty Dog that does it. Yeah, they, I have a question yeah. about Naughty Dog. Have they ever? Does Nathan Drake ever eat? Do we watch him eat? No, a not, weird not really. I think he like ate a hot dog once. Because that's like ninety uh, percent of video games still do the like oh nom 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 nom, and now it's gone from the hand thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll never forget uh, Mass Effect Three. There's a scene where you can go to the bar, and it's, he just grabs this cup, and Shepard just holds it up like this. It's empty, and he puts it back down. He's like. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, man. Stuff like that is like weird. So I like, I like the little small details. Like I'm a nerd for that shit, and Naughty Dog's really good at it. That's part and of the reason they, why people come to these. Yeah, know? and and they got that down. I still remember when we were at the Uncharted Three event years ago oh on the God. boat level when he like the boat started drifting this way, and Nathan Drake went that way too, and he put his hand along the the wall and it's just like, like walked and like dragged like stuff like that. Like remember, remember in Uncharted Three. In that, like, I think I was at the same event, and they're like, and here's multiplayer, and you could turn into a bunch of spiders. Was that in three? That's, yeah. Oh, I thought, yeah, it was, that was, I thought it was four. It got weird. That was wild. <laughs> um, but no, it, 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 it seems cool. Um, no, I don't see anyone online talking about the lack of Joel. I saw people. I saw, I, I saw people, yeah. I went, when I went back to watch the, like, when I was watching the stream. Again? Yeah. And also, like, because we bounced between, like, three different streams because mm-hmm. it just broke, like, yeah, three times. Um, everyone in the comment was like, "Where's Joel?" Oh, okay, I didn't see anyone talking about that. I've also been like light on Twitter all week, so that's just on me for missing it. I apologize. I'm into it being uh, a, a game about Ellie. No, I'm into it being like Joel is like this or, thing thing that's out there. Or no, he's dead. dead. Or dead. I'm still convinced. They acknowledge. I, I mean, the character in the trailer acknowledged, like, "Oh, hey, your your old your old man was giving me a hard time yesterday about my border patrol." Um, yeah, you know? but that scene is obviously sometime before the game takes oh, okay. sometime but it's like it's like happy time and then it cuts exactly. out her murdering a exactly. man exactly yeah. exactly so maybe joel doesn't die and maybe her significant other dies and that's why she's like crazy and mad and shit yeah who knows who knows uh, i also love the jumping back and forth because the room they were in was so like well lit and warm and it just felt cozy and comfortable and then it just and jo- then like, it went to gray yeah. dank like that was awesome. Yeah, I, I love that. Uh, I am also stealth. 
Like Stuff crawling under a car, hiding in a bush. You can crawl now uh, completely. Yeah. Like you can go down. I yeah. was like, oh, all right. The levels just seem much more open. It's funny. I was watching. I had watched the hour long gameplay of Days Gone, and this seemed more i was like oh this looks like better days gone like creeping around in the woods and stuff trying to hide from post-apocalyptic mm-hmm. dudes that's naughty dog man naughty yeah. dog knows how to make a fucking quality ass video game all the interactions with the environment and like all the uh like when she's fighting a dude he's swinging with the axe and the axe like hits a shelf and knocks the whole shelf down like yeah. i just i love stuff like it, that when she fell feels... over and the arrows came out of her yeah yeah the game it just feels bigger yeah yeah I'm, I'm, which i'm into uh, I kind of like that we haven't gotten a lot of story details yet. Like, are you good with that? Yeah. Like, you just, like, you know the characters. You're like, I All don't, right, I'll give well, it a shot. Well, yeah, I, I was actually going to segue us into the next thing is I don't like when trailers show too much. And Spider-Man showed me way more than I wanted to fucking see. Yeah, that's funny because I went in going, um, I don't need to see any more Spider-Man. Like, I, that's a game that's one of my most anticipated. So, like, I'm good. I'm good, fam. Uh and then they showed it, and I was like, oh, man, I'm still really, like, excited. I didn't need to see it, but uh, we got the Sinister Six, or some of the Sinister Half, Six. No, four of the members. Yeah. Uh, and they all look pretty damn good. Their designs are really cool. Scorpion in particular. Uh, well, what I was, you weren't here watching it with us, um, but it seemed like a less... Uh, it seemed like they're going the same route that Arkham went for yeah. their character design, like their villain design, but made it way less more, like way less hot topic. Yeah, it's and not, like not really overdo. Edgy. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. Not overdoing the edginess, but like, so like, did you notice with Electro, he's got those things on him? Yeah. He's moving around on, but when he stands still, it makes the bolt. Yeah. And then also cool. on his face, there are scars, like burns in the shape of his mask. Oh, I didn't really... That, yeah. yeah, that I was a really, really cool that. touch cool. that I appreciated. Yeah, so they're making them look really cool. Like uh, however, Rhino looks ridiculous. Like, Rhino, they went over the top There's with. no, But there's no way to make yeah. a man in a Rhino it's suit fine. look... No. You know, like... No. It's, okay it's not that. as over the top as uh, Paul Giamatti. But they also teased uh, something at the end. I think it's a hero showing up to help him. I think it's Iron Man. I think it's Iron Man or Captain Marvel. I'm leaning more towards it being Captain Marvel... Because if it was Iron Man, I think they would have shown Iron Man. But they also made a point to show Stark Tower in the trailers, and you could zip around it. Yes. Uh, and the Avengers Tower is like, like in the game, in the skyline. Did they show Stark Tower and Avengers Tower? or No, did you see Stark Tower? Or like... Oh, no, I meant Avengers okay. Tower. Avengers like, Tower my, is yeah. technically Stark Tower. As the comic book yeah. nerd, when I see Avengers Tower, I don't think Tony Stark. Yeah. I think that's where everyone hangs out. Yeah. That and the mansion... Like, yes. that's what I think. Yeah. So. It, is the Avengers Tower just straight up, like, MCU Avengers Tower in this game? Sort of, yeah. It just was like, it had a big A on it. All right. So, I was like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm into it. I also got hands-on with the game. And I'm Jake Baldino. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to play Spider-Man. No, no, I'm Check trying to provide... Check your emails, provide. guys. We all got Sony and Butts. Oh, no, I only did. I'm trying to provide information because <laughs> this video can't just be... More, what word was that? More three chuckle fucks talking about, you know, just whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna until I was... <laughs> so rude. Really, yeah. Um, <laughs> ridiculed live it's, on air. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's... The com- the combat is, is really good. Uh, I, was, I was going into this going, yeah, the combat looks great, but, like, I don't really... I don't really care about that. I just want to like swing, be Spider Man, and swing around. So before we get to the swing, can I ask you a question about yeah. the? It, it was the combat like super button mashy. Um, if it was, yeah, was it button mashy? But it, it was still like, um, did, like, did it feel like cinematic? Was it Arkhamish? Kind of Arkhamish. I wanted There's to a... say Arkhamish, but Arkhamish also just looks like Batman just punching dudes in the face. Yeah, where like Spider Man's definitely capable of much more does it, in terms he, of his move move sets and his he, acrobatics. Here's my important question about it: When you're punching dudes, the transition between guys, mm-hmm. does he do the thing that Batman did, where he just clips on them? Where no, yeah, well, yeah, but when you finish a dude and the other dude, uh, like the next target might not be right next to you, mm-hmm. but he'll zip over to him and just keep the combo going. Um, I I couldn't kind of the dodge seemed less. Uh, like, you know, you see the indicator and you can dodge at the last second. It seemed less uh, tying the flow of the combat together and more about the actual act of dodging. Okay. okay. Uh, but you can do it. It's kind of like Batman where he'll, like, dodge or parry someone and punch them. With Spider-Man, he slides underneath their legs and then keeps punching punch them. them. Right in the dick. Yeah. So, it, so kind of into my question, it mm-hmm. does make it seem a little bit more cinematic. Yes. Like, like because Spider-Man has very flowy combat. Like, that's yeah. how he fights. So, I feel like... It's easier to have Spider-Man zip to the next guy Mm -hmm. than have Batman float, you know, like... The only thing I did, uh, and it it was early, so, like, you didn't have access to everything, uh, but I did find myself relying a lot on just square, 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 
like and he just yeah punch, yeah punch. yeah uh whereas arkham combat like you can keep mashing x in different ways and it's it, kind of different the web shooting is cool like the on the fly changing the type of web shooting stuff you can do uh what's also important in the combat that i did like is the push and pull like the yank so you you can you can web someone and stun them like just rope them up real quick for a few seconds or you can do it and pull them towards you uh then you can also do a if you hold the hit button you can punch them up in the air and then you can then do the web yank and you can either pull yourself up to them to air combo okay or you can while they're in the air you can just poof, poof, and pull them back down to the ground and slam them on the ground it sounds like spider-man ass combat which is exactly what it's I cool wanted. too because it, so, it, it's that like that first out. that first demo video where uh he's kind of just standing like he's not running around the environment like he's just standing there posed like spider-man and reacting to the dudes coming at him i forgot about that yeah. you can kind of do that it does get chaotic because i started fighting dudes with rocket launchers and they can almost one shot you because it's oh. like a rocket launcher. I guess Spider-Man can't get hand, handle getting hit by an RPG. Most can't. <laughs> Most people can't. Uh, but the swinging is the thing I'm sp I'm still not sold on. Really? Yeah. Um, so it's it just feels a little floaty. That's it. Uh, it's, it's good. It re you can react to buildings. Uh, it, it feels like a real line. But it still just feels a little floaty. The momentum still just doesn't feel totally you know yeah uh i'm also like i i really like the boost swing mechanics from the original spider-man 2 game Is that I wanted you, stuff like, like that pull yourself back and that just... you can kind of do that but uh no when you hold left trigger and like you add a little bit more like oomph to your swing. is that when he would hold it with two hands in yes. the other games and he would shoo. yeah okay all right, uh, all right you all can't right. I, I i i they had said that that's something you can kind of unlock but i didn't see that yet um what is really good is just the general way it goes about the environment like how you can like go through fire escapes and like you can perch on a ledge and then just keep going okay. that stuff works really well you never really as long as you're good with the mechanics and you understand them all you'll never like fuck up and like get stuck on a wall and be like oh wait oh or like get stuck in a corner like okay. it's always good to okay. keep the momentum flowing cool um so it is good it is satisfying it's still just maybe not as like hardcore in depth as spider-man 2 but i think it's still the best the swinging has been since that okay so uh, overall, pretty cool. Awesome. I went to the Empire State Building. I climbed all the way up and jumped off. Uh, the draw distance is great. The city is huge. I was able to recognize some streets. So, neat. Satisfied. All right. Uh, before we move on to Xbox, I just want to show some love to, the, to Remedies Control. That trailer. Yeah. That game looked awesome. Yeah. And it it it's cool that they're, they they took the, the cool shit they figured out for Quantum Break. Yeah. And they're just like, we're not going to not do that again. Let's make it cooler. That's 100% what they did. Like, yeah. it's very similar. It had a look, like, yeah. even, like, the particle effects and just some of the stuff going on. Like, as I'm watching the trailer, I'm like, huh, this looks like Quantum Break. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, Remedy, yes. Yeah. Quantum Break had really good, like, aggressive combat. Yeah, no. It, that you, was the best thing yeah. about that game. That thing where you would freeze someone in time and shoot bullets into it. And yeah. then, like, whatever you would do to, like, activate the move, you felt that. Yeah. Like, boom. That was cool. I just wanted to bring it up quick. No, absolutely. Because I, I thought that trailer looked yeah. great. Any, any other thoughts on Sony? Neo 2 happened. Oh, yeah, Neo, cool. 2 happened. Neo 2 happened. I think yeah. I'm seeing that today. Nice. Moving on to Xbox then. Xbox, for me, had a lot of uh, quantity. Like, they were quantity. I wouldn't say over quality, but I would just say focus on quantity. Uh, quantity because uh, we Xbox had a lot. Xbox has no games. Well, that was their whole yeah. thing. They were like, all right, well, the, the one of the first things they did, which I thought was cool, was when Phil Spencer came out and he's like, we're waving our Microsoft money. Uh, we bought this studio, we bought this studio, we bought this studio. Uh, a lot of surprises, and that's just them dedicated to, apparently, making first-party Microsoft Studio games. It's like, all right, cool. For some people, it might be uh, too little too late. I'm happy. Like, I'm happy to just see them listening and, and focusing on what we want from a console. So it, it it's good. Uh, they, I mean, they bought Ninja Theory. Yeah, they did. That's huge. That's huge. Uh, the guys who yeah. made... Uh, oh, yeah, then they did uh, the guys who did uh, Undead Labs, State of Decay Two. That was like a that was like a given. Yeah. Um, they bought the Forza guys. Yes, Playground, Playground games. They bought a bunch of studios that you already thought were Microsoft first party. Kind of, yeah. Like they locked it in. Uh, I would say with, with Playground, that really leads uh, leads credence to the whole they're working on Fable thing. Because uh, he did allude to that that they are working on something else, but yeah, like and a they, new console. They said that. Yeah. Well, oh, they did just say they did just come out and say, "Yeah, we're making the next Xbox." Yeah. Just to circle back to Forza really quick and Playground, didn't they say that they're making a game with a focus on like how they create the open world in Horizon? 
Yes. Th- 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 that's all that he really had said. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like a Skyrim Elder Scrolls type level open fable. God. Uh, speaking of Forza, though, I did get I did get hands on with that, um, and it's good. It's more Forza, but the weather systems are really cool. Did you get to do that any of the public event things? Uh, no, no. Okay, no. I'm really curious. That looks crazy. It's like a raid, work. almost like in a racing game. Yeah, which this might be uh, the first Forza I play. I like racing games. I'm not even like a car person, but like I just I lo- I like the act of racing in a video game. It's fun. I used to. And uh, the weather things are really cool. I got to play through like a sequence that would shift. Uh, so I got to play through all of the seasons. Uh, the game looks incredible. I think the choice to do English countryside is really cool. It's different, but there's actually a surprising amount of variety in it, and it was fun. Um, <laughs> highlights from Xbox. There's a lot to go through. I Cyberpunk. Mean, Cyberpunk. The one that just you know freaking blew the doors down at the end. Yeah, man. Man, what a trailer. We are checking that out uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow. We will be, we're already working on a video, so we're going to have a bunch of info about that. Uh, the big thing after the trailer, the information that it's first person, um, how do you guys feel about that? I'm totally fine with it, just because I, the one thing that I was afraid of with Cyberpunk, which I think for most people would be what they wanted, was it to feel like The Witcher, but in like a cyberpunk-esque future. Oh, shit. That's what I wanted. I know. See, and, so, and I get wanting that, but yeah. I think changing the perspective, which is obviously going to change the combat, is enough to make that part feel at least different. Yeah. Because it's still going to have the openness of The Witcher. At least cool. That's what not I, what I want out of cyberpunk. From what though. I've read. The only... The, the, the plus I can look at is like, all right, so you get to see this world really up close and personal because it's your first, first person. person. Yeah. Uh, but I had heard like first impressions coming out, like our friend Dave had said, uh, it's like, it's like better uh, Deus Ex. And I'm like, all right. Do, do we know how the combat is? Is it like guns or is it like melee? It's guns, melee. You can run on walls. Uh, you have blades in your arms. You do have uh, net runner stuff. Lots yeah. of like homing homing bullets and tracking people through walls and stuff. But like I can't wait to get get into a, friend, like a, a genre that's all about style and cool shit and how your dude looks and not be able to see how my dude looks. Yeah. I mean, they said you're going to see him or her. Is it? Can you choose male or female? You can. No, I know. It's just do one dude, B. Uh, um, you can do, uh, you can see him in conversation and driving. That's what I'm curious to see the driving. How much yeah. of the focus is there going to be? Because it was like, there's cars. They can't get like, a horse Ooh. done right. So I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. I, I hope. I, I, love like, the, I, like the I love The Witcher 3 with all of my heart. The horse Roach is a terrible, terrible he's a, thing. He's a goddamn idiot. I'd like to think that cars are easier. You know, you know what it I mean? might be because there's no excuse for a car to be on a roof. I'm a little more forgiving with cars, <laughs> like because cars at least you can have like really arcadey driving. Yo, or... I still I think car like car controls actually are super hard because like there are still games that are not like on par with GTA yet with how cars control. Yeah, you some know what I mean. Just like, there's still right. a lot. Like Wildlands came out last year, and the car controls in that game aren't great. Yeah, uh, I would say the style. Uh, the trailer, especially like the music and the look, I'm really into. Like that more than anything. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll see how it is first person. It's still like up there on the top of my list of like things I'm excited to see. So, I'm very excited to hear about you guys. Yes. Playing it. Yeah, I can't wait to get yeah, that video I'm pumped out. Pumped to see it. Just get some get some deets on that. Uh, Devil May Cry Five uh, showing up at Microsoft was cool. I didn't expect that. Uh, but it's it's more Devil May Cry. It's it's, it's continuing off of four. Uh, you you like Nero? I like Nero a lot. He's yeah. uh, much more fun to play. Yeah, I was like, nah, I don't need this guy. I, at this point, it's been so far since Devil May Cry Four. I didn't I didn't know people were clamoring for like the continuation of his saga. But you know, I'm gonna go back and play Four again because I didn't hate him. So yeah, it, it it seems like more Devil May Cry. You got a cool arm now. You're like a cool robot arm man instead of a demon arm. Now you have like a robot demon arm and you can ride it like a skateboard. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see it just coming back. Uh, you know, just just a regular old, good old fashioned Devil May Cry game. Showing yeah, up, I'm very excited. Showing up at Microsoft was kind of cool. You know? Yeah. Uh, otherwise, though, Shadows Die Twice, which apparently isn't an action RPG. What What is it? Uh, let me. So this is this is the From Software game. Talk uh, amongst yourselves. I'm gonna get the details. This I, is yeah. This is the From Software game that was teased. People were like, "Is it Bloodborne 2? It's not Bloodborne 2. It's them doing their own noob thing. And it looks pretty fucking cool. I did not know that this was published by Activision. Yeah, that's 
weird, weird right? It's weird. That is weird. Um, looks cool. It looks like um, like the next step in terms of like Souls like combat for from software anyway. Yeah. So with Bloodborne, they made it a little bit more fast paced than Dark Souls one, two, and Demon Souls. Yeah. Dark Souls three was a combination of the slow chest like combat of Dark Souls with the quick, uh, fast paced combat of Bloodborne. And then this just seems like they're taking it to a whole different level. Yeah. Where it still looks like it controls like a Souls game. It looks challenging. Yes. Like already you can tell. But it's definitely more fast moving. You got your guy has that grappling hook, like Especially when he was using it to jump. Like I don't know if it's a jump button, but like he jumped and then swung around the enemy. Yeah. I was like, well, because I found the quote and it says, There are no classes, stats, or souls in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Whoa. What? It's an action adventure, not an action RPG. Whoa. That's cool for them. So that's really them just doing something yeah, not, we, not, not too different. They're getting rid of a main thing yeah. that every copycat but I don't like I don't mean take to say I, that, but I like, took uh, I saw that I really liked was we've gotten five Souls games in ten years. I'm cool with them doing something different for a minute. Yeah, no, yeah. me too. And like I was what I was in the middle of saying is I'm that sorry. every um like with the Surge and like Lords of the Fallen and games like that, they always have the Souls thing where you're collecting them. To level yourself up and then you'll lose and you gotta go back so it's cool i guess this would drop that if they're getting rid of the yep. rpg like stat building element of it so that's cool and they're focusing on what is has always been my favorite part of dark souls and bloodborne what it which is the combat yep so if they're gonna do that i didn't know that and if you're adding that's some fucking cool awesome. traversal stuff with the jumps i'm totally yeah. in yeah i like that's uh, fucking awesome i'm like, so excited i like their level design so i'm curious yeah. to see if they just I will say though, if they are not doing a lot of RPG stuff, they better fucking double down and get their shit together in terms of storytelling. Not, will, not to throw I, yeah. shade at those no. games, but they always keep them kind of. Uh, it's like passive storytelling, not active storytelling. Yeah, the lore yeah. is there. Oh, totally. It's deep. To I don't understand it because I that's just like if if you don't give it, like put it in front of me, I'm just not good <laughs> yeah. at like capturing yeah. it. This is Destiny, where I'll read grimoire cards till I die. But um. I agree. But, like, I also, like, I go to a Dark Souls game for the challenge, for the combat, because that's what I love. Mm-hmm. So, if that if it's just more of that, but just, like, to the next level, totally, totally fucking cool with it. Totally fine with it. Um, while we're on the topic of fighting spooky things, uh, Dying Light 2. Yes. That's right. You guys are uh, big Dying Light boys. I yes. enjoyed the first one very, very much, and I also enjoyed how much they supported it mm-hmm. afterwards. Uh, so... It, you know, a sequel I thought I knew was coming. I was pretty like, all right, we're getting it. Uh, but what I didn't expect was Chris Avalone to walk out on stage and say, hey, I work here now. Yeah. Uh, so he is like a legendary RPG designer. Uh, you know, he, he's been behind a lot of the good Obsidian RPGs, New Vegas, stuff like that. Pillars. Hell yeah. Um, so for him to come out for this and talk about the branching storylines and the decisions and stuff seems cool. That's something I wouldn't expect from a Dying Light sequel. No. And stuff like that. No, not at all. I think that's awesome. Which is cool, though, because they have the systems down. They have the gameplay down. Exactly. So now they can just start building upon that and making everything else around that like, yeah. good. Because Dying Light still has, some, I think, some of the best parkour. Yes, that we've it done does. In the video it's game. actually fun. Exactly. And the combat always felt fine. Like, it always controlled well. It was very fun. Yeah, the shooting was pretty decent, yeah. too. And I like the idea of them doubling down on the zombies at night thing being more like scary and yeah. terrifying because they never were there was always like the the ones that would only come out at night yeah and those were like really scary but it seems like they're putting a focus on that and making being out at night like even more tense like tense and but terrifying. more uh i was talking about this on what's good games it'll be cool if they push you more more reasons to go out at night yeah. instead of just being like ah eh, tonight yeah. I don't, i'm not looking for that extra loot i'm just gonna you know, i think sleep if they, yeah it. if they gave better loot yeah at night yeah Stuff like that could yeah. be really cool, or you earn more XP at mm-hmm. night. Yeah, which I think that would be keep cool. that going. Yeah, that's, that, that's that would good. be sick. Uh, yeah. Visually, though, it looks pretty cool so far. The city design is really cool. I'm curious to see what they're doing with the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm into it, though. I'm very happy. We're checking that out today. So, Oh, you are checking that out today? Yes. Cool. Yeah, soon, rather. Um, is there anything else from Xbox you guys want to touch upon? Uh, well, I th- we didn't mention... The, well, before we mention the big ones, oh yeah, uh, Division Two mm-hmm. looks really cool. Into it, it just seems like the Division, but just making it all around better. We won't focus on it too much because I can go on about that forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a Halo Infinite. Yeah, Halo Infinite is wild. Uh, yes. Just because it's early as hell, you could tell they're just like, "Hey, here's our engine." That's gonna be an Xbox Two game. An Xbox Two. I, and the reason we were talking about it yesterday, um, 
The reason, like, I thought they were going to announce that and it was going to be out this year or or early a next year. Ten-pole game, yeah. Yeah, like, but they the 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 scope of their vision, like what they had, was so big and ambitious that yeah. they needed to build an entirely new engine to do it. So that's why it's taking so long to come, is because they rebuilt their engine. Like, they built a brand new engine to house this giant ass pro- like idea that they have, which is like really cool. And we still don't even totally know what it no. is too, which is kind of exciting. I I we did a deep dive. We did a video just trying to glean little information here and there, just from what three four three has said, and it looks very much like they are like all right hey remember the old halo like we're trying to listen to fans now and bring it back because they showed like driving through woods in the countryside and a warthog and stuff like that but they're changing the visual style what if a hundred master cool. chiefs drop onto a, a halo that that could be it that could be the game <laughs> you, i mean you don't know they're doing it with the fallout mans <laughs> uh they did sh- they did show fallout 76 a little bit at xbox we'll get to that we'll yeah. get to that uh yeah but i think uh I, I think it's good. I'm excited to see where that goes just because I'm looking for something different now from Halo at this point. Not different, different, but... Not 343. Three. Not what 343 three yeah. has been doing with 4 and 5. So it, this seems different. They seem to have some idea they're excited about enough to, like you said, build a whole new engine mm-hmm. on it. So here's hoping. Uh, the other big thing uh, that we didn't talk about is Gears. So we're getting three Gears wow. game. Yeah. We're getting a Funko Gears mobile game. Who cares? And then we're also getting a... I, think See, that... I thought a Funko video game would be all your shit, no. Andrew. No, no, no. Those are toys. They don't belong in my video games. <laughs> Those are toys. Video yeah. games are not. <laughs> um, we're also getting that Gears of War like, tactics game where it's like an XCOM. Is it bad? I'm... I'm more excited about that. Oh, I'm five. so I'm so excited about that. I think that's so cool. Yeah. Just because the the gears, like the look, and like the way the enemies look, the way the the big chunky men that you play as look, I think that's like, it's before Gears One too, so it's like all that shit. Like, yeah, it's not. Yeah, so I, it's cool. And then we got Gears Five, which uh, looks pretty pretty well along. Yeah, uh, one thing I noticed is that it looks like J D Phoenix uh, aged about twenty five years, and Marcus Phoenix like aged back ten. years. He does. He looks younger. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? It, it's funny with J D. It looks like they were like. Yeah, he sucked in the in Gears Four. So let's just make him. Let's really, just make him look like a cool Gears of War man. Now. If they didn't put Phoenix on his, I would have been like, I was I like, who's know that who guy? Was. Yeah, <laughs> I was the yeah. same. I was the same way. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's cool that they took the only interesting character from Gears Four yeah. and made her the main playable character, yeah. which is really cool. Which after the ending of Gears Four, I was hoping that's the direction it would go in. Yeah, so it's it's cool that they're doubling down on that. I just like the idea of them changing who you play as. Like, I think that's really cool. No, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with it. I think they realized too. They were like nobody really. No, JD attached to JD. He's so. boring. Yeah, yeah. She was the interesting one. She was the one that you cared about for pretty much the entire game, and then even more so at the end when that big thing happens. I still just care about Marcus Phoenix. Oh, That's it. Fuck. What? We didn't talk about Death Stranding. Oh yeah, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. That looks like a video game. Yeah. I still don't think there's enough it. to have a fucking yeah, opinion I, on so I We'll talk about this in December, I guess. Yeah. yeah, all I'll say is I love Kojima bullshit more than anybody, but I'm starting to be like, all right, what is this game? Yeah. Right. Same. I don't uh, really have I really have nothing to say. Yeah, I'm glad if I'm, I'm glad being you, completely honest. I'm glad you swooped back in and saved us for that at the at the end of Xbox. So like that's a good way to tidy yeah. that up. Um was there anything else big, huge? For Xbox, yeah, like uh, Battle Toads. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's Battle Toads. It, it uh Jump Force. Yeah, which is cool if you're like an anime boy, which you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just like seeing Super Saiyan Goku in like Times Square punching other fight men. Naruto. Yeah, I was cool with that. Let's just say these words just to sit, just so we acknowledge it. Yes, Kingdom Hearts three. Uh, I really want to play that game. And we I, can talk. I'm like gonna try real hard to play that game. That got a showing everywhere. That got that, that showed up on PS4 and Xbox. I pre ordered a two hundred and fifty dollar edition oh, of Kingdom Jesus. Hearts three. No, no, no. So Bethesda, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bethesda. <laughs> Things that matter. Bethesda was cool. We got a lot of new stuff. Uh, we got Doom Eternal. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Did you go over by the Doom booth yet? Not yet. No. Yo, they have the big monster man. They got a big demon boy. Yeah. I can't uh, wait to walk the show floor today. I still haven't done that. Yes, we are gonna do a deep dive video about cool things from the show floor, and I have a feeling that that demon is gonna make an appearance. Yeah. Um, cool because it's hell on earth i'm all about it they showed doom guy and he has his muscles out now he's not wearing sleeves yeah man i like that Yo, we'll see more look. of that at QuakeCon later on in the year definitely we got uh wolfenstein young bloods mm-hmm. very cool so we got a bunch of stuff at bethesda that was just like hey we're making this and that's it 
a lot yeah a lot of that so young bloods i think is interesting because it it advances the timeline to the to 80s, the 80s yeah. brings new characters but, but it's like like you were saying it uh, does something i'm very excited about like what if the the end of this saga like is, uh, this seems like it's gonna be setting up the saga it seems bigger than new uh new bloods young blood not young blood uh, old blood that's old blood, it yeah um they use a lot of the same words yeah, don't they bigger yeah. than the old blood but it doesn't seem like this is like wolfenstein no. So if this art like sets up the new characters, because if it's going twenty years in the future or something like that, yeah, BJ's old or like dead. BJ, like BJ's not going to be around for the end of this. Yeah, they're going to be like, dang, much like Master Chief, someone else is going to be finishing the fight. I it just you had you had mentioned yesterday. Uh, it's just like, oh, okay, I guess they didn't win. Like they just kept going, and <laughs> yeah. like they're still fighting. All right, whatever. You got to make games. So yeah. Um. A lot of prey stuff, which I was surprised to see. Yeah, a lot of which seems yeah, really cool. Yeah. And, and one of those new modes went live that day. Mm-hmm. The so, moon thing. Yeah, there's that run mode where it's like a rogue game almost. Yeah. And then there was one other. Th- oh, there was the VR. Yes. Mode, which actually sounds really cool. Yeah, which is like cool. creepy hide and seek. Isn't it just prop hunt though? Pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of fun. Uh, it seems neat. Uh, what else did they show? They showed blades. Yes, so Elder Scrolls is getting a pretty fleshed out mobile game. Yo, which I hear is fun. Like, I'm here on the yeah. fucking hyped. I'm gonna go see it today yeah. after my appointments. I want that on Switch. It seems like a really good Switch game. Well, they said it's gonna come to everything. Yeah, so we'll see. So when. does it take place in Cyrodiil? It looks like it takes place in Cyrodiil. Looks like it takes place. In I don't know if they confirm that yet, but well, where are the blades? Uh, you. I mean, you. They they highlight them mostly in Oblivion because they are protectors of the Imperial King. Yeah. Uh, so, but leaders. then you, there's all. They also have a heavy emphasis in skyrim oh they do i'd say heavier in oblivion but the reason i'm asking is like isn't like their hideout in skyrim no their hideout is in uh oblivion in like the mountains not oblivion uh tamriel okay not so tamriel. maybe the, what, uh, that Cyril. was just one of Cyril. their many outposts i guess yeah. were. remember like the big cave with the dragon etchings on the walls and no i'm not into like skyrim oh it was in the main... to, like be weird it's in the main quest okay so you you you've been there you yeah don't remember it. i don't remember it uh i think what they're doing graphically is pretty cool though like wow they did that mm-hmm. they got it on there that's cool they i'm really passionate about, about it. to play it like this too like in a yeah that's, that's something else yeah that's todd cool. made a jerk off joke yeah he did good old todd todd like held the stage for the entire thing papa todd they made the joke about skyrim being ported to everything yeah which really is cool because that. now nobody can make that joke anymore i'm looking at you youtube comments <laughs> um they even went as far as to say it's on a it's on a smart fridge, which yeah. is like what everyone joked about. Yeah, so I'm glad they got that out of the yeah. way because I'm tired of that joke. Uh, they did the uh, speaking of Elder Scrolls though. They they just came out and said we're making it. We're making it. Stop fucking asking. It was kind of like a leave us alone type of thing. Apparently, yeah. it is an early early pre production. They don't mm-hmm. even know what the systems for that game is, are going to be. I, yeah, I'm not surprised. That said, they also before we get into like because we're moving uh, barreling towards the. Uh, the big one. Thousand pound radioactive gorilla in the room. Talking but, about you, Freddy. Yeah. Um, but uh, another thing that's in progress is Starfield, which yes. was announced. Yeah. Which, which that's more along. It has to be. Uh, according to a thing that I read today from Jeff Keeley, he said that that game is. I think it was Jeff Keeley. They said internally it's in a playable state. Good. Which means that this time next year we should like. I think next year will be the thing where we get a Fallout yeah. thing where we're like, here it is, this is the game, we'll see you in the fall, it's coming out. Yeah. Which, cool. And, and, but Elder Scrolls is going to be like a PS5 game, man. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just very different of them to show so many things that they're working on, but they don't, they're not going to... Well, it's them just... Uh, hey, I saw the best tweet, which was, uh, hey, uh, you can't. it can't be leaked if you announce it ahead of time. That's true. Yeah, that and if, it seems like everyone's kind of following suit with Sony and just doing like the roadmap thing. Like, yo, here are our big titles. You'll get them within the next few years. Like, here's everything we're doing. Yeah. Like, they did it with, like, God of War kind of ended, well, Detroit kind of like ended that. Yeah. Oh, we, we have to still have dates on it. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. said, like that would uh, be cool. Decent amount of stuff that was announced this uh, year. You don't see dates on the end of them, not even like time frames. Yeah, not many. Doom Which... will get a QuakeCon, I'm sure. Yeah. That's where they dated. Is that where they dated uh, the other Doom? Yeah. Cut to the first uh, time they showed it to that behind also closed Also, continuing door. this line, uh, we heard Todd Howard say the words, next gen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a thing soon. It's mm-hmm. happening. 
Next, what, next year or the year after is definitely next when that's year is when they're going to be announced. Yeah, guarantee. What is nice is that we got a lot of answers. Well, not all, but we got some answers for Fallout seventy six, and we got a date for that, and that's soon. That's the fall. That's November. Great. November. Yeah, November. A big, November. Stupid special edition for it. Yeah, oh, yeah I bought it. Um, I bought it. I still don't know. If, like, like I don't want to play that. game. When I was there watching the presentation, I was like, okay. Yeah, but then as we did a little bit more of a deep dive to make that video, there's little bits of info here and there where I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm super into it because it's not Fallout 5. It's Fallout 76. It's like a different thing. You know, it's, it's not like the uh, like the next core game, even though they are kind of marketing it as such, like what yeah. they've been saying. Um, I'm really into, like, Sea of Thieves and, like, shit like that. So, like, this shared world thing I'm into. Yeah, I'm antisocial um, as hell. I don't yeah. know the end the no humans running around thing is like a little weird where yeah. every human is another player so um that does get, like tom brought this up yesterday it, it, that does give me like narrative concerns yeah, yeah because how much of a story can you tell if it's all through robots and uh like audio yeah. logs not I'm really much hoping because that we're missing yeah. something well the story weird. is just you're out start and rebuilding obviously multiplayer which yeah. means no vats yeah, they said that Vats is a different system now. Like they can't do the slowdown thing. No, nah, because it's like if they imagine everybody a aiming thirty at person head. fight with everyone using Vats. I will say everyone's just head sh- headshotting. The emergent gameplay and just like the chaos they showed that ensues from defending your base and working with other people. It looks like a crazy like modder Fallout. Yeah, thing. they got like, they got some like cool chaos. monster mans in there. Really mm-hmm. cool creature designs. I'm I'm very into that. Uh, the environment is drastically bigger. Yeah. Uh, they changed their engine a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's funny though because when they had first showed it, uh, it seems like more Fallout, like, like yeah. third person camera angle, walking through. Yeah, really nice detailed places. Which I must say is what surprised me the most. That about surprised this. me the most. Yeah. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna, okay. It's going to be a Fallout game, and it's going to look like Fallout in the same way that Elder Scrolls looks like an. El- I mean, Elder Scrolls Online looks like an Elder Scrolls Online game. Mm-hmm. Um, Elder Scrolls game, but it still does different. look kind of different and plays kind of different. Yeah. I was expecting the same thing with Fallout 76, but no, it looks like it controls and plays like Fallout 4. Like, that's what it looks like, and I'm so surprised. I thought it was going to be dumbed down or something, but it just looks like a Fallout game. Got that cool musket gun. That cool musket yeah, gun. Yeah, man. I don't know, I was, that's, that's what surprised me the most, is how Fallout it looked. Like, how it didn't deviate from what we know, what and they really didn't change it to out. To me, it was seeing how often you're seeing ADS in that game. How often you're seeing them just strip aiming down sights. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they yeah, maybe, maybe they fixed it. Maybe it's good now. Maybe, maybe it got better with four. Like, hey, id, come fix this for yeah. us, please. Yeah, right. They're like, hey, can yeah. you guys come over and help us? Like, I would go as far to say that in three in New Vegas, if you weren't playing, if you weren't handling every encounter with vats, you were playing the game wrong. And then in Fallout no, Four, man, you just get tired of it. You open the console, you hit, hit slash TGM, and then no one can kill you, and you never run out of bullets. It's a good time. Or you could just cheat your way through it, but. <laughs> In um in Fallout Four, it got better. Like the like just like the normal gunplay, not in Vats, like got a little it bit was better. Tighter, yeah. Yeah, it was doable. It was yeah. actually. I remember fighting the Death Claw for the first time. And like oh, this, and they fuck you up. And like that square when you get like the power armor. Yeah, for the yeah. I remember oh, that, that one. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is playable and not annoying. Yeah, like, it's I not like can, Exa- I can yeah. do this. So maybe with this, they're bringing it like another step forward mm. and making it a little bit better. Mm. Where because if there's PvP, the, the gunplay has to work. Unless everyone's just using the same shitty gun systems and it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, they're not putting an emphasis on PvP, but if you're making a multiplayer game where there is PvP, the players will make PvP the emphasis. Yeah, that's the thing. And they, they did, like, Todd Howard followed up in an interview saying, like, we're trying to come up with ways where it's not, like, malicious and, like, avoiding drama and griefing and yeah. stuff. I was but like, good I don't luck think with you that. You make a game like that without it. I, unless they crack some code. Some like new design mechanic, but yeah, that's can easier I, said than done. Can I done. suggest what the uh, way to make that game would be? Uh, make it a toggle so I don't have to have other people in my world. <laughs> they said they're gonna. Yeah. Do, they said they're working private on private world. Yeah, it, you're gonna have to always be yeah. online though, because there's no server browser. Which no. all right, that's yep. fine. Mm-hmm. Like you if just, it's just like an organic thing. Yeah, you just do it yeah. and it happens. Just like Sea of Thieves, how you just get. Boop, you popped in the world. There are other players here. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be cool if they did like a, a GTA Online thing where like. I don't know if the system works this way. I think it does work. But if you're like a dick and you just kill a bunch of people, they put a bounty on your head. Yeah. That way it's like, okay, you're going to keep killing us. Well, now we're all going to kill you because we get something from kill it. Kill us, we'll That's kill you. Cool. And speaking of that, like griefing and it's like, you know, murdering someone you don't like, yeah. that whole nuke thing 
Yeah, that's... seems like really weird, and just like it's just it's just like the ultimate like fuck you. And I hope that getting those codes is harder than like I'm thinking it is. Yeah, I like the idea of someone in your server getting one, and then you can't use it. Like you can't finish the set unless you kill them and take it from them or you team up with them. Yeah. But you don't know who has it. I'd like it to be really rare, especially if like yeah. you're posting up and you're building your little base, and then all of a sudden some other asshole on the other side of this giant map gets the final code and says, I'm going to launch a nuke right there, and it blows up all your work, yeah. and you were just minding your own business. I, I but, want it to be like that. I The cynical part of me thinks that about a week and a half after that game comes out, the people who played it crazy like like yeah. will... Uh, know all of the spawn, po- uh, spawn points people are keys. dedicated there's no way it's going to be like this like hunt for a golden ticket like people he... figure sh- shit out so yeah. quick video game people who play video games do not mess around no. and that's why we like them but that's it, it, it's going to be so they're going to have to like really really keep it elusive if they can i don't know i am very curious to see where it goes yeah i'm very excited uh we didn't talk about um electronic arts no the nintendo what's the game with the man, the spiky hair. Rage, sorry. Yes. Oh. How do you guys feel about Rage? It looks cool. It looks energe- It looks like really energetic and frantic Yeah. in a way I can get behind. Good shoesting. It looks like a more hectic Doom. Yeah. Uh, it's weird they had Andrew WK come out and play one song for the least enthusiastic audience he's ever been in front of. Man. I was losing my mind inside, but no one else was losing their mind. So you're like, all, all right, right I'll like, just sit here. La, 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 tap, tap, tap. <laughs> just like... I just like watching him jam on a piano. That was cool. Yeah, that was... Uh, so Bethesda, satisfying... Right. Oh, one of my favorite conferences. Good. Uh, moving on, is there anything else you guys would like to acknowledge in terms of press conferences or announcements? Uh, Ubisoft was cool. Square Enix, I thought, was a little bit of a bummer. It was all stuff we pretty much knew about. No, uh, to talk about Ubisoft, no fucking Splinter Cell. Yeah, no fucking yeah, Splinter Cell. Shit. No Skate Four from EA. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got Session though, which is cool. Uh, I don't skate know Four though. What? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't know what Session's gonna be. Uh, I don't even remember if they said who was making it. No, they just showed it. Yeah. What if What if it's Skate People? It looked like Skate. Okay. Could be. We don't hey, know. Right. We'll find out more. Hey, right. We'll have to find out more soon. Um, well, I guess they, uh, put out an aggressive inline sequel instead. Don't even talk. All right. No, don't <laughs> no, even. That I game, love that yeah, game. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm with, I'm with, Turns I'm out with rollerblading video games are yeah. cool. <laughs> um, thoughts on the Nintendo press conference, which means your thoughts on Smash. Uh, where the fuck is Waluigi? Yeah. Well, before we get into Smash, we did get other things. So Fire Emblem got dated, got pushed to next year because originally looks, it was supposed to be this year. It looks nice. It looks like a Yo, real Fire Emblem. Yeah. There was a lot out. of anime in this press conference. Yeah. Yes. We uh, also got Hollow Knight came out finally. That's great. Cool. You did. You bought it, right? I did. Team uh, what about, uh, Congratulations. Fortnite. Fortnite is a thing on Switch now. Yo, uh, for, uh, we downloaded it. Someone's playing it in here yesterday. It looks like Dookie on, on it, Switch. Well, yeah, I don't know how it looks handheld, but... Uh, docked does not look good. It looks yeah. worse than the phone. Yeah, it does not look good. It does kind of, right? I don't play a lot at all, but I was looking at it. And I'm like, wow, this the phone looks better. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see how that goes. I think it's just nice that it's on the platform. Yeah, though. no, you can play it's it. Good. And I'm pretty sure that no one who's super into Fortnite is into it because of the graphics. So no. no. They're into it because they like uh, murdering men with a shotgun. Yeah. Smash looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they spent a lot of time detailing Smash, so it is called Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Ultimate, I think it's Ultimate. And uh, the big thing is that it's every character who's ever been featured in a Smash game, including Solid Snake. Thank you very much, uh, David Hayter, doing new lines for it. Uh, I think that's exciting. Um, it's really just uh, from what we've seen, from what other people have gotten their hands on. It's a different game it's got a different feel some actions are a little different well they so changed a lot a of stuff they did like and they detailed things, a lot of it yeah. my my favorite thing was how they're like oh and here you have two different versions of the character and they have two different voice lines but the voice lines to at least uh when andrew and i were watching it sounded exactly the same yeah <laughs> they also added some new characters which is cool so you have daisy squid kids ridley Okay, let me talk about... I think those about... are the only three yeah, Daisy for now. is an alternate dark version for some reason. I don't know why she's like an alternate version of this, but of Peach, which they have an alternate dark version of Luigi already. And he's and not in the game. Fuck... Oh, he is in the game. Yeah, but he's not in the game. As no, a fucking able. assist trophy again. Yeah. Where, hashtag, where is Waluigi? Where's Waluigi? Where's Goku? <laughs> <laughs> where's I... Minecraft Steve? Do, do we think they're still going to just announce more characters? Like, yes, the lead so. up? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how else will Crash Bandicoot get in this game? They spent a lot of time just focusing on the characters they're bringing back. 
yeah. and the new mechanic like just like little tiny changes they highlighted all this stuff i'm curious to see what they do with uh like if, if they do like subspace emissary type stuff again like i want to know about that yeah we'll we'll find out soon we That's shall just, it's coming later than i thought i thought that was gonna be a september release it's always yeah. gonna release yeah. with the online online which means that the online will be around for two months to pay to be paid for before smash comes out yeah i thought it was gonna be like day of both things launch that's what I was thinking. Game, GameCube controllers are nice. Re- yeah. Yes, GameCube how, controllers. How, uh, like, what, what are the chances they're going to be fucking really hard oh, to find? They're going to be impossible to find again. Yeah, thanks, Nintendo. People will be selling them for $150 online again. Yeah. Just turn on those uh, Wario 64 Twitter notifications to get uh, everything you want. So, outside of Smash, we got uh, Overcooked 2. I know yeah. Andrew and I are yes. pumped for that. That's good. That's good news. Finally, online play. Yes. Thank God. Hopefully, it uh, performs better on Switch. I know it's going to be out for all the platforms. But hopefully it performs a little better on Switch. I, I like it playing on it Switch. on Switch. Yeah, it's a little Switch. rough on Switch. Uh, the stream cut out. I don't know what the title was, but there was a Zone of the Enders looking mech game. Yes. Oh, uh, Damon, D- Damon X Machina or something? Yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah, that seems it's like you're the mech, guys. Yeah. I uh, just see Devolver. Di- what did Devolver Digital? Uh, Metal with? Wolf Chaos is right. what they're. Putting is it just out. like a remake? It's a remaster for remaster. modern consoles. So. Wow. That's a game. That is. That's so a game. Metal Wolf Chaos is a game where you are the president of the United States. You get dethroned by the vice president and you have to fight with max yeah i pretty much like watched it all on youtube and i was like this is excellent but the weird thing about it is it's about the american government it's fully voiced in english it was for the xbox an american console but was only released in japan which uh, historically had a horrible like xbox had a horrible like three people in japan, japan yeah. owned xboxes man what a time to be alive thank you devolver uh any so i would say your takeaway like what did you guys enjoy the most uh in terms of conferences like who do, who do you think uh one I never, not one so i to speak, never but. fucking thought i would say this but my favorite uh conference this year was microsoft there's a lot there's a lot of stuff they just kept like. we're firing on all cylinders yeah. and they're like all right we got this we bought studios we're making games we're yeah. gonna show you that bad we happy few game again yeah uh, <laughs> here we go goddamn I'm with Tom. Mine is Microsoft for the same reasons, mm-hmm. and it's just really cool to they, see them like start to make their like they started making their comeback, and it, it's cool to see that still happening and how they're kind of getting to like what PlayStation's been pushing for the past few years. Like we, here we are, we're making games for gamers, and like Microsoft is kind of doing the same thing. And yeah. they had surprises, and that's the thing that people yeah. love about E3 is mm-hmm. being surprised. Mm-hmm. And while Sony yeah. didn't have a lot of surprises, I liked the quality of what they showed. So I was really into that. You like watching and, Norman Reedus walk through a, a marsh? No. no. I that, I'll, 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 I'll give I like I'll get back to you on that game. Uh, but, <laughs> Gross man. Yeah, that and uh, Bethesda. Bethesda has some cool shit. Yeah, Beth- some yeah Bethesda so would be away. my... Like, they brought the heat. Yeah. yeah. Second by like this much. Like I can't let go of the mic, but like, you know, they're like... Microsoft and Bethesda, like right there. Any other things though? You guys were, we, I mean, we mentioned Splinter Cell, but anything else you guys were ex- like hoping to see or expecting to see that uh, we didn't Rock see Steady at all? Superman? Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah, Rock or Rock Steady, whatever. Uh, do you think it's really gonna be Superman? I don't know what else they can make. I think they're too deep in it on this DC thing. Yeah, and they it's, said they were done yeah. with Arkham games. It's gonna be DC. My, if I had to guess three things for me, mm-hmm. I would expect Superman being the first. Teen Titans being second, Just League being third. What if it's a game based on the Cyborg. Academy Award winning film, Suicide Squad? They canceled that. Yeah. Did they? They were going to do that. Remember, they got teased at the end of Arkham Origins. <laughs> so I think what they're going to do is in a couple months, there's going to be like a big event. And hey, tune into our WB Games yeah. live stream and watch the reveal of Rock City's next game. Like they wanted that thing to have its own platform. Probably. And fine, whatever. I really yeah. would have liked to have seen it here, especially considering we're seeing a bunch of Warner Brothers stuff. You excited with it? DC supervillain Lego? No. Yo, that sounds cool. Uh, you make your own villain and you like... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Cool. I'll give it a shot. It's cool. I'm, I'm very excited to hear your thoughts on Hitman. Yes. Get to that later. Yeah, which that's cool. That that's a thing. I'm very happy that it's still uh, going to be supported. It's not going to be episodic, but it's going to be supported with the elusive targets and stuff like yeah. that. Which yeah. that was the best stuff. Yes. That was so cool. The yes. elusive targets, the, uh, the escalation missions. Yeah. Uh, if it is one game being released though i really hope they kind of tighten up the storytelling like all right now that it's a game again on a disc you play it front to back there's got to be like a cohesive tale there i I never really was into the hitman games for their story but they were trying at least with the last hitman so if you play them all 
in order now they like they tell like a linear story throughout the yeah except this one this one's no, like i mean earlier. if you play this new one if you play oh. all the missions yeah uh the only reason a lot of people forget that there was actually a de- like it was was not a lot but there, there was like lot. legit story stuff there but it was spaced out over months so yeah because it's like you only get it when you get a new episode and it's like the first time you beat that level you get that cutscene, and you're like oh okay cool where's that going but then you're just like too busy focusing on having fun just playing the game yeah. so i'm curious too busy to killing the wet bandits in the christmas mission <laughs> i have high hopes for hitman too i'm just happy that that game uh and io interactive found found a place for it you know yeah it makes me happy anything, anything else? else anything else you guys want to add i played battlefield for like 90 minutes that's a battlefield game yeah it's a battlefield game you can crouch and run at the same time wow that's really realistic in war it is yeah um, it actually changes the way I played the game. Did you get to see a customization at all or no? No. Okay, that's what I want to see. Like, um, what do you mean, customization? Uh, character, like customization character stuff in multiplayer. Oh, no. Uh, I was able to go into loadouts and switch guns okay. for classes. That's cool. Uh, I'm still not convinced on Anthem, by the way. No. I don't know if you guys... I haven't watched the Anthem stuff at yeah, all yet. I watched the yeah, Anthem I'm stuff behind. and I'm like, I still don't totally get it. I gotta see. Yeah. We shall see. So know. many more questions to be answered, yeah. and we still have two more days here yep. to check out games and get some information for you guys. So let's wrap this up so I can go get on that uh, Destiny Two Gambit line. I want to play that. Okay, let's yeah, I'm do gonna it. Try and play Kingdom Hearts. Thank you guys for coming around, and checking this out. Uh, we will have more information for you guys soon. Like I said, E3 is really hectic, but we have been churning out videos. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, like I said, sorry we couldn't live stream this. It's kind of a bummer we didn't get to like talk to you guys as we do this. That's, That's like always the, the best point. part. It is. Next uh, week. Next week. Yeah. Yes, next and week we'll be back. Normal time, same bat place. Oh, next week we can talk about all the stuff we played. Yes. Yeah, yeah next week will be a girthy episode as well. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so I am at Jake Baldino on Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Where can we find you, Tom? Uh, at that Tom Johnson on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot. At Andrew Gabbia on Instagram and Twitter as well. So uh, we will have a uh, you know more videos out. Uh, also twitch.tv slash Game Ranks Live when we usually go live every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so definitely follow us over there if you haven't already. But I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Pizza's on us. Right, let's go to the show. Peace let's out. Let's do it. Destiny. I got pissed so fucking bad.